Hey guys, it's Janiksa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the brand new glam polish release. It's called We're Back Witches. And if you can't guess by the name already, this collection is inspired by the Disney movie Hocus Pocus. We have 10 beautiful shades to look at. Glam Polish did send these over to me in PR so that I could review for you. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up we have my potion, my beautiful potion. And this one is described by Glam Polish as a lime jelly with shifting iridescent flakies and black flakies. When I first saw this one, I thought, okay, this one is definitely going to be a three-coater because, I mean, you know, it's a lime. It's usually these colors need three coats, but it is so packed with flakies that they distract very, very well from the nail line. So I only needed two coats to reach full opacity. You could, of course, do a third coat if you really, really, really don't like to see any nail line, but I don't think that that is necessary. This polish, the formula is really, really good. It went on really easy. I didn't have any issue with any of these polishes. The formula of all of them were just really, really great. I only had to like consistently be dipping back into the bottle because I wasn't getting enough polish on my brush, but... That was just my fault because I kept wiping off too much polish, but overall, all of these have been really great. Next up, we've got You Hag, and this one is an orange jelly with shifting iridescent flakies and black flakies. So this one is the orange version of the one that we just finished seeing. And once again, I thought that I was going to need three coats with this one because, you know, orange jelly but nope, the flakies are so packed in there that they completely distract from the nail line. At least, you know, especially for me, I am the type of person that detests seeing my nail line under polish and I didn't mind it at all with these. These shades are just so, so pretty. I was really drawn to them when I opened up my Glam Polish PR package and yeah, I'm so glad that they are, you know, easy two coaters. I really enjoyed both shades. I, mm, I'm i trying to pick a favorite right now. I think I'm going to have to go with the green. I don't know what it is with me. I've been on like a green kick lately, but uh, yeah, both of these shades are really, really beautiful and I highly recommend both of them. Next up, we've got Damn That Thackeray Binks, and I hope I'm saying that right because I've never actually seen Hocus Pocus. I know, I know. Don't come for me. I will make it a priority to watch the movie this coming Halloween. But this polish is described as a blackened blue with scattered holographic flakies, shifting iridescent flakies, and aurora shimmer. This one Originally, I wasn't really seeing the flakies and the shimmer, but once I started to move my nails around, that's when I noticed, and I was in love with it. It is so beautiful. The flakies are absolutely stunning, Ugh, and it has really great coverage. It is completely opaque in just two coats. And yes, like I said, I'm really going to try to watch Hocus Pocus this Halloween. I was going to watch it last Halloween and before I knew it, Halloween was over. And uh, yeah, so I'm really, really going to try to watch it. My husband loves the movie and everybody seems to love the movie. So I'm going to give it a chance, finally. <laughs> Next up, we've got Get Away From My Cauldron, and this one is described as a bright purple jelly with aurora shimmer and black flakies. Again, you guys already know I am going to love this one because it is purple. I'm always biased towards purples. It has a great formula. It's a little bit sheer on that first coat, but um, it does build up to full opacity in two coats. Again, the flakies help that a lot because they distract from the nail line. So I don't see you needing three coats for this one at all. 
I really don't see you needing three coats for any of these. Again, they're just so packed with the flakies. And uh, also, I want to mention that they're really not going to be difficult to remove. One of them, okay, maybe two of them will. I will get to those when we <laughs> move further along here in the swatching. But these polishes that are packed with the flakies, flakies are pretty easy to remove. They are not light glitter, so you won't have to scrub. Next up we have Dead Man's Toe, and this one is described as a light gray crully with Aurora Shimmer and Black Flakies. I really enjoyed this one. I don't know what it is about the gray uh, crullies that Glam Polish does, but I end up really, really loving them. Um, I believe it was from the Witcher collection, the polish called Lost Magic. That one was also a gray crully with flakies and... Oh, it was my favorite. As soon as I put it on, I was so, so hooked, and this one reeled me in, too. I really enjoyed this one. It has a really nice formula, and I thought that maybe I would need three coats for this one since it's a little bit of a lighter color, but I actually did not. It went on perfectly in two coats, completely opaque. Formula was like butter. I had no issues here whatsoever. Next up we've got Cat's Got My Tongue, and this one is described as a charcoal with scattered holographic flakies, shifting iridescent flakies, and aurora shimmer. This one, okay, this one's a little bit odd to me here because in my swatches, right now in my live swatches, you'll notice when I apply the second coat that it gets significantly darker. The polish gets significantly darker. It looks almost, you know, black, but when you get to my swatch photo, it's more, um, it's like a light gray. Uh, it's definitely accurate, that description of it being a charcoal. So I would not pay too much attention to how it looks in the video right here. And just pay attention to how it looks in my swatch photo to get the best color accuracy. It was probably my lighting that was making this polish look a lot darker as I was swatching it, but definitely the photo is more accurate in this case. Next up, we've got Why Was I Cursed with Such Idiot Sisters. <laughs> this one is described as a hollow glitter bomb with scattered holographic flakies and shifting iridescent flakies. This one will be difficult to remove. It is a glitter bomb. Anytime you see the word glitter mentioned in the ingredients of a polish, you know that it's going to be difficult to remove. Glitter tends to want to really stick to the nail like glue, and it will require a lot of scrubbing. This one, I feel like it distributed really nicely on my nail. I didn't have to, you know, fish for glitters or do much placement at all. It was just, you know, swiping with the brush like you would any other nail polish. So I really, really like that about this one. I got great coverage in two coats. Again, it doesn't completely cover the nail line. However, there's so much going on in this polish that I don't think you have to worry about covering the nail line, at least, you know, for my preference, it doesn't matter. And, you know, coming from somebody who really, really hates seeing nail line, that says a lot. Next up, we've got Fools, All of You, and it's described as a crimson jelly with Aurora, Shimmer, and Black Flakies. I love this one. This screams Halloween to me. It actually reminds me of a polish that Jess from Jess Face 90 created called Be Positive. And, you know, it looks, you know, like bloody and I love it. <laughs> it's really funny that I enjoy these kinds of polishes because I am not a Halloween person. We never celebrated Halloween growing up. So it just was not my thing at all. But when it comes to Halloween nail polish, I cannot get enough. Like, I am really excited for September's polish pickup because we are going to get such great Halloween polishes. I am so excited, you guys. I'm going to have to really try to control myself so I don't buy everything because, 
oh, it's going to be really, really hard. But oh, look at how gorgeous this polish gets on that second coat. I am in love. I will definitely be wearing this for Halloween this year. Next up, we've got the Burning Rain of Death, and this one is described as an indigo jelly with shifting iridescent flakies and black flakies. You guys, when I took this one out of the package, it screamed at me. These flakies look so bright. It's like stained glass windows. That's how that's what they look like to me and wow I really really love this polish I would say that this one was probably the most thick out of all the polishes probably the most uh, difficult to use but keep in mind I don't actually think that any of these were difficult to use I'm just saying that compared to all of the other ones I'd say that this one was a little bit more of the pain to use however I think it's completely 1000% worth it because look at how beautiful this is it looks like I don't know it looks like the ocean like the really deep deep ocean to me you will definitely want a good thick top coat for this one and wow it's just so 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 beautiful i got complete opacity in two coats and i did have to do a little bit of dabbing with my brush but again totally worth it to me for this shade and last but not least we have another glorious morning it makes me sick this one is described as a yellow base with scattered holographic flakies aurora shimmer and red glitter mix so this one does have some glitter so it will be a little bit difficult to remove not as difficult as the glitter bomb we saw earlier because this one the glitter is a little bit more scattered it's not super super heavy this one reminds me of two things it reminds me of french fries with ketchup and it also reminds me of pepperoni pizza let me know if you guys see it because when i see this polish that's all i see and i don't know it just kind of makes me laugh it's a really cute polish not one that i would gravitate towards you know all the time but i definitely think it's a nice one and it's really really great for halloween And here we have the entire collection together, and I think they go really beautifully together. There you have it, guys. Swatches of the Glam Polish We're Back Witches collection. Isn't it a gorgeous collection? I really enjoyed all the colors, and I really enjoyed the fact that all of them were just two coaters, especially when I'm editing a video because it's a lot if you're swatching uh, polishes and a bunch of them are three coaters. Ooh, that's just a long editing process, but all of these were absolutely beautiful. They had a great formula and yeah, pretty much all two coders and oh, I just really enjoyed a lot of them. The flakies are so, so beautiful. Glam polish just really never disappoints me. <laughs> they always do such a beautiful job with their collections and this one is definitely no exception. This collection releases on Friday, August 26th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And just like with every other Glam Polish release, there is some discounts available for the first 72 hours. I will go ahead and leave all of that information down in the description box for you. Let me know what you thought of this collection, guys. Are you going to pick any of them up? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.